What is up everyone and welcome to another Rust electrical tutorial. I'm Niceish and today we're actually going to be answering some questions about another one of my videos, the base lockdown circuit. Uh, I've had quite a few people actually at this point ask me how they're supposed to extend you know, in the video I made, I used a three do three door example, and I think there's some confusion as to how. What if you have six doors, or five doors, or twenty doors, or in this case, twenty one doors? Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I've, you know, say if, if you haven't seen the original base lockdown circuit video, um, the link will be above here. Uh, and if you want to watch that for more detailed information, I've already built this for the for just you know the speed of this video, but um, and I've set up. You know, I've set up 21 doors here. They're all linked. They already have door controllers on them. Each one of these splitters is running one column of doors. So this, these yellow ones here is this column. The next one is blue is this column. Um, you can see just how they're laid out to the end. And this is just, you know, again, so that to save time for this video. Um, and so, you know, this is the layout of the base lockdown circuit. You can just, you know, pause it here and, and, and build this yourself. Um, and if you're going to do that, you know, this first branch has to be set to five because we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then these two, this is to, to, you know, the short answer to people's questions about, well, how am I supposed to add doors is that you have to manipulate these two branches right here. And specifically, you're going to manipulate this first branch uh, right here. And whatever it is, your door voltage is that you have 15 volts of door stuff, you'd put that right here. And then this will be, uh, this one's always two more than this one. So if you do 15 here, this is 17. If you do 10 here, this is 12. If you do 20 here, this is 22. Uh, and so I'm just going to show you an example um, of how to set these up, you know, some of these at a time, and then I'll do all 21 doors just so you can see that it doesn't really matter as long as it's, I mean, up to 100 volts, really. Um, and so um, this first stack here, the yellow stack, I'm going to hook that up. That's exactly what I set up on the um, first video. And so I'm just going to connect that to the output here. This uh, and switch is the output of the base lockdown circuit. So I'm going to connect that to the splitter, which is going to run these three doors. And all I got to do, and this is what I did in the first video, is add up, you know, how many volts do I have and how many switches do I have? So I have one switch. I have three doors. Each door requires one. Each door control requires one. So one, two, three, four, including the switch. And so I'm just going to set this branch here to four. And that's all you have to do to adapt this to your base. And so if that's four, then we have to set this one to six. And that's it. This one you leave alone, it stays in its default configuration and you're done. And all you have to do is arm it like so. Now you don't have to do this. This is just a fun thing I do. This output on the memory cell is unused. And so you can connect it to things like a neon sign if you want, or a rotating light or whatever, a red light, anything you want just to show that your system is armed. If that's something you care about doing, this is not necessary. I just think it's fun. And so once it's armed and I run it, it's going to cycle those three doors from closed to open to close um, because nothing was open. And so, you know, as I showed in the first video, if something is open, and I arm it or it is armed and I run it or it auto runs, it's gonna close the open door and cycle the closed doors open to close. But no matter what, it always ends up with all closed doors. And that's the example I gave in the first one. So what I think happened is that people were like, well, how do I do more than that? And so let's at this point say, well, what if I want to set up uh, these four rows here, you know, one, two, three, and four. So all, so that's what three times four, it's 12 doors. And so, you know, I've got these four splitters here, each running to each column. And so all I'd have to do is hook this up. And this is another, it's a good example of what to do when you don't have a fourth output. I've talked about this in my five tips video. You can see the link above. I talk about this, um, but you can make a splitter into a four output splitter using a branch. And all you have to do is the power out of that branch becomes the fourth output that you're missing there. So there we go. We have our four and the branch out runs to the input of the splitter itself, the power in. And then you just have to set the branch value to whatever this thing is powering. So we've got one, two, three. So this doesn't include this one. It's just the ones on this splitter. So we have one, two, three. So nine doors. So that's nine volts because each one has a, has a door controller. And then you have nine volts and then 10, 11, 12, 13 when you add up the switches themselves. So you just set this to 13. That's all you have to do. And now you have a four output splitter. Um, and then to connect that, you would just run the power out of your your uh, your uh, and switch there on the base lockdown circuit. And then you add up everything, all total everything. And that's what you set this to. And so this would be 
what? Let's say we've got one, two, three, four times three. So that's, we have 12 doors, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, if you include all the switches. And so you'd set this to 18 now. And if that's 18, this is 20 to account for the switches that it's powering for you and are ready to go. So if I arm it and run it, it's gonna do all 12 of those doors. And so you can see it, it's it's not I, I, it's not as complicated as, as it seems. You just have to account for what you've hooked up to it. And this works uh, just the same as it, you know, uh, I explained before, it doesn't matter what's open or closed. In the end, it's going to close the open and cycle the close, but it'll always end up with all closed. So there you go. So then the last example I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook up everything to show you that it does not matter what you hook up. And so we've already hooked up this one, so we can leave this one alone. And then let's just change the color here. So this one here, I'm gonna hook up these, these sets of nine doors, three, six, nine. That's the last three columns there. And I'm going, so there we, now we have nine here hooked up there. We have 12 hooked up here. And then we just have to hook these two together. And you can't use a splitter for this because, you know, if, if it was just three and three with two splitters, you could use another splitter. But because we have four and three using this special four output splitter I've made, uh, you can't do that because you need to, you need different voltages for each side of this. So, I mean, you could, you would just waste a lot of electricity. So I'm going to run the, um, let's see, let's use red. I'm going to run the branch out over to the uh, input on this branch here. And then I'm going to run the power out to the input on this splitter here. And then I just have to you know, and then I guess we can go ahead and just hook up the output of our base lockdown circuit. That'll be right here. Uh, and now I have to just account for what I've done. You know, I've already set this one up. We already know this is set correctly because we have 12. Um, you know, this is set to, is that right? 18, let's see, that should be, oh, that's right, yeah. Because we have nine, we have three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, right. So we have 13 there, that's perfect. Um, this one here, we have to do this one, uh, we don't have to do this to what we do have to do is set up like what this sorry what, what this output you have to account for all of this so this branch is powering this branch and all of this so these three plus this extra one so you got to add up this total amount and set that branch to that value so we've got one two three four splitters one two three four splitters each have three so four times three is 12 doors that's 12 volts and then 13 14 15 16 17 18. so this branch is going to require 18 so that it can power all this stuff and so once we have that set now all we have to do is these branches are set we just have to add up every single thing we've got and we're good. We know we have seven splitters fully loaded. Each has a door on it, three doors on it. So that's 21 volts, seven times three is 21. And then we have adding up the, uh, if you include the switches, it's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Cause you add up everything after the and switch. And so if I set this to 32, if that's 32, this has to be 34 and you arm it. There you go. That's 21 doors on the system. And so just like every other example, it doesn't matter what's open or closed. You can have any variation of your base going you like, and it's going to just cycle the closed and close the open. And let's see, make sure that works. Arm it. There you go. Closed all the opens and it's cycling the closed and we are good. So. Uh, that's how you add doors. So, you know, you can ignore this um, crazy thing that I've built here. This was just trying to make it so you could see where how these things were, where they were going. Um, but it really is just adding up what you got. So whatever, however you hook your doors up, if you have, you know, I don't recommend daisy chaining, but if you hook them up that way, whatever you have to do, you add up all the stuff required to make your doors open, you know, your door controller function and you just set that in this branch here. And then you take whatever that is, add to, and you set that branch to that, and you're set, that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, there's been a couple of questions about how to automate things, and just remember that uh, from the first video, this toggle on on your timer, which is set to one second as a reminder, uh, this toggle on is how you can automate this. So like, let's say you wanna use an HBHF sensor, all you have to do is run power two volts to an HBHF sensor. Uh, I'm gonna turn on my admin vanish so that it doesn't know I'm here. And you just run that into the 
toggle on right there. And so once that's set, um, all you have to do is make sure it's armed. And remember the armed is also just a set input on the memory cell to take it into state one or the output. And so, you know, you can also use HBHF sensors to do that. I mean, and that's fine. You can also do that because you have to reset this thing manually. Anyway, I, I don't recommend, I, I think the button's a good idea or a smart switch is a good idea to arm it with. Um, you can, instead of having this arm neon sign, you can actually have it, if it's armed, you can you can have it send you a, uh, you know, a message on, on Rust Plus or whatever you want. Uh, but these are the two inputs. It's gonna be the set input and this um, toggle on input on your timer. That's how you're gonna, the, these are the two things you can mess with how you want this thing to run. So if I set this up with an HPHF sensor here, as long as it's armed, and I'll run over here and actually I'll just, you know, for fun, let's open and close or open some doors, make it look like you're, you know, you're home or you're doing some stuff and you get a surprise raid you're not ready for. Maybe, maybe they even kill you and you're, and you're on a bag timer or something. Um, you turn off my vanish. There we go. And so now with that armed and the HPHF sensor hooked up, if I, if I'm detected, it's going to fire it off. And there you go. It's going to close all the open doors and cycle the closed doors and your base is locked down. That's it. Um, so I guess just some general tips beyond that. Um, I would say don't put this system on your very your front door. You know, maybe you don't want that cycling all of a sudden. Um, and whether or not you, you know, there's some argument, uh, you'll hear people talk about how, well, if someone gets to your TC, then they can go around and hook up a battery to each of your door controllers and open the door, even if the door is locked. That is true. I think, the other argument is if they got to your TC, I mean, you're hosed anyway. So there are ways to hide door controllers, but that's the trade-off. If you do a system like this and they get to your CC, they can use the door controllers to open doors in your base. And that's true, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do this. What you can do is sometimes I'll put strategic lockdown doors to keep them between floors. You know, um, maybe don't put it, you know, I tend to put it on my um, TC room because if they blow into the TC room, they're already in there anyway. So I would recommend putting on your TC room. Anyway, the options are are yours and you can you can do it as you please. Uh, but that, guys, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. You can get me on my Discord. See you later. <laughs>